Hello everybody. So I love playing with circuits and I love doing paper circuits and just, you know, some wire and um, batteries and LEDs and motors uh, and all things like that. And a lot of people talk about snap circuits and I had not played with snap circuits before. So I thought I would take a look at them. Um, I found this on, you know, that internet shopping site on sale for $20. So, seem pretty good. I, it is the Snap Circuits Junior, as opposed to the other one, but for $20 instead of, you know, 35 or 40 or 60 or 80 I thought it could give me a good look. It's by Elenco. Um, so, it's probably a, another website to check out. So, here we go. I'll open it that. I don't know why it seems like their, their box is, like, upside down, right? Um... So it comes with this nice catalog of things to do. Look at that in a moment. Comes with this grid to snap things onto. And then all the parts in this kit um, to play with. Um, this is their whistle thing. Um, a light. Yep. A photo resistor. An LED, it's a color changing LED. A push button press switch a slide on off switch their integrated circuit boxes music alarm and space war I mean space war is kind of like music except it's designed to make spacey kind of sounds um, instead of music um, the battery holder which I have already put in two batteries it does not come with batteries nothing ever comes with batteries um, let's see what we got else we got here we got um, a motor which you attach this little fan propeller thing for. And yes, one of the things is to make it play like a propeller. A speaker. And then we got all their, all their snap wires. A five, four, some threes, some twos, some ones. And then some just jumper wires um, on the snap wire. Did I leave anything out? Nope, think I got them all. Um, so there's the parts. There's the snap. You don't have to use this grid to, you know, put things together, but it, it is nice. So here is their project book. Uh, they give you some do's, some don'ts, you know, your, your parts list, um, some explanation of the parts. So pretty good there. You know, more explanation of the parts. Good to get there. You know, we're going good. Some don'ts, always important, but... Again, sometimes the don'ts are better off. Most often found uh, when you do something that you shouldn't have done, right? And then they get to the projects. And I like that they just start with a simple, hey, let's you know, wire up a light. That's pretty good. Hey, let's use this other light. That's the um, color changing um, LED. And then they talked about, hey, it can only go one direction. They note that you got to have the positive there kind of thing. You know, that, that, that's kind of awesome to switch. Now, I would have done, like, the next project, like, replacing the slide switch with the push-button switch, so they would see that difference. But then right away, well, then they go to motor. Awesome. Again, I would do, you know, switch, you know, press button and slide. Um, and with this one, they, the first one they do is flying saucer, and then they do fan. I probably would have done those the other way around. Because the flying saucer, when you turn it off, it actually takes off. The the, the prop blade kind of takes off. And then they jump to, so they got these nice little series circuits. Then they jump to their integrated circuit. And you don't really get, to, I just think they should jump to, to parallel um, first before they jump to their integrated circuit ones with their project. They don't jump to, they don't go to parallel. I mean, again, 8, 9, 10, 11, all doing, you know, multiple Multiple hookups, um, 28, an awesome conduction detector. You know, why is that in the middle? Of that? that seems like 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 a weirder. They don't get to like actual parallel circuits. Um, lamp and fa fan and series. Man, put that up way up front. There's a parallel finally. So I would get. I would have put all that first. You know, go series, go parallel. Um, put the put the indicator lamp in there one way. Put the indicator lamp in there a second way. Um, do that conduction detector thing. Do that. 
So you can really experiment with that. And, and then get to uh, the integrated circuit things. Because they don't really explain what, what they do and how and why you have to hook them up the way you have to hook them up. Because if you don't hook them up right, they don't work right. So again, these they got all these comp, complex, complicated hookups, which are nice. It, it just means follow directions and you get this to happen without really understanding why it happens. And part of doing this in class um, or for kids to explore is to understand why it happens um, and what's going on and how that happens. So I don't really love um, the, 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 the layout of their um, project book, how they did that. So again, here's the just things that they are. You, you do them and different things happen, right? That's, that's fun, great. But yeah, but it's not learning. It is fun. So again, I would go with, um, so you might have to do your own. I would you know, go, go go straight with series first, simple 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 circuits, bam, simple circuit. Not even called series because there's only one element, right? Simple circuit. You could call say that the switch is in series with that. Some people do. Do the you know do the regular light, do the other light. I do push button push button. You know I would do you know a fan, pr uh, uh, press the uh, uh, push button and slide switch. Then I would go to, to parallel, maybe getting uh, the the two lamps in there, so you can see you know hey they're both going, they're both lighting up, kind of thing. And then I would get um, what they have at like forty something with the uh, you know the 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 indicator light, the switch the the lamp and fan in series, so you get an indicator light showing that the motor is on, right. And in, in, in parallel, so they can see the difference. Hey, why is that a lit now? Or and and even maybe do a next one where um, the lamp is like before before the switch a little bit, like the lamp is over here and the the switch is over here a little bit more. Um, you know, do some parallel stuff, and then I would do this awesome, you know, conduction detector to play with you know what is um, conductive stuff and what is not. Can you find conductive stuff? And then I would do it with, you know, I would make sure you include some liquids with that. And that's why you got these nice little wires that you could use. So I would use liquid. They've got it for a water alarm. Um, the good, you know, one of the good things about their project book is they do, because you got to layer things to put them together, they tell you, you know, which layer your thing should be at. And they said, hey, start with all the ones. If there's a one layer, start with that one. Um, where it goes, the first layer, then put the second layer of stuff down, and then put the, uh, no third layers here. So, I like the parts, I like the idea, I like the premise. Um, the staff together is nice, you know, so you get a, you do get a good connection. You do feel it, which is, you know, important. So you 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 snap you you put it down. Actually, let's do one. Let's do a light. So I got that in. Got that as there. I'm gonna put the light in here. Too far away. I'm gonna put the switch here. Snap right. And then I'm gonna put a triple here. And then, boom, on. So, snap circuits, pretty good, especially if you can get them on sale. That's the real important part. So, thanks. Have a good day. Bye.